when forces loyal to King John undermined Rochester Castle, it spelled doom for the rebels inside. Within days, they had surrendered. But the rebel barons weren't done yet. Their ally, Prince Louis of France, had sent an invasion force to help the barons overthrow King John. Then, in late 1216, the king fell ill with dysentery and died. His son, just nine years old, was crowned King Henry III. It was now up to the young king's regent, the 70-year-old legendary knight William Marshall, to protect the crown. He faced a near impossible challenge. England was crumbling. Rebels were taking town after town. But William Marshall bided his time and prepared to defeat the rebels. Then in May 1217, he got the chance that he'd been waiting for. William discovered that the rebels planned to simultaneously besiege both Dover Castle and Lincoln Castle. With rebel forces split and weakened, William Marshall led his royalist army to Lincoln. The castle on one side of the city was still controlled by royalists under its formidable constable, Lady Nicola de la Haye. But the streets of the city were under rebel control. On May 20th, 1217, the Royalist Relief Force, led by William Marshall, arrived to retake the rebel-controlled city. The future of England rode on the success of this mission. Troops loyal to the king held the castle at Lincoln, while outside, rebels controlled the city. The defenders had to hold the castle until reinforcements arrived, under the command of the king's knight, William Marshall. What will thou? Hestes and Orton Bowerman. Here, Hestes and Mayor Bush. Dresseth thou art Hestes cometh, our women. Every charm and tender. 
then they that rate the new press of your heart. But here, Boa is the boon. Boom! The Hestus! Hestus and on, boy! Keep us for the markers. Here is the Hestus, dude! Hestus, come back our way, man! Dress it, you our way, man! Be ready for Hogan Yare for the game! At last, the King's Knight William Marshall arrived with his forces. While a hard battle remained, there was now hope for the young King's army. In order to liberate the city surrounding the castle, William Marshall commanded the king's men to destroy the military buildings belonging to the rebels. William Marshall's forces were welcomed in Stowe, a nearby town loyal to the king. Hestes and Ordboer, Hesteria! Run, they are way men! See, they! Hesteria, Hestes, do! 
rebel fortifications, diminishing the enemy's military presence. The castle now faced a new attack from the rebels' French allies. They would need to destroy the enemy forts on the outskirts of Lincoln. Stand back to hit our way, man! 
The king's army had almost regained control of the city. The king's army raised the last of the rebels' military buildings, but the French siege continued. Hey, this is an 
for that. Get an heir to Hester. Push your head 
King's men uncovered one of the French forces' siege camps near Lincoln. Push us our way, must spring out moving the artillery's do. Hester the Hestas will be Intendant, hearken ya, we have a Hestas. Building to put an over. Oh, yes. Our way, men. We moon and bay. Hestas for the spring out. Siege artillery's moving out.
pushing. It can fall your pesters. Our women. Our women. The sage on your hit with a car. I'll be there. Our women. Take your hesters. Get down your gear, our women. I'm doing it. Push it, our women. Be there, hesters. I'll sell on spot. The king's army tore through the French fort, weakening the enemy siege. He shall do any way. Trebuchet at Eton. Hestes for the Trebuchet. Arwen. Oh, and Glau, Hester. Arwen oh, is getting omitted. Arwen and Wash. Dress and Arwen. Mark and thou, Arwen. Intended. Arwen. Wait. He killed him. Arwen. Arwen.
William Marshall and Nicola de la Haye had saved the city, and with it, the kingdom. <laughs>